हेलो गुरु जी कुड यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन अबाउट राहु एंड केतु सी दिस इज वन क्वेश्चन आई थिंक आई रिसीव टू मेनी टाइम्स टिल नाउ दिस टाइम आई विल ट्राई टू आंसर इट इन अ डिफरेंट वे फॉर यू बिकॉज जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइक जनरल नॉर्मल स्टैंडर्ड थिंग इज टू कॉमन you can see it in whatsapp university or youtube university too many times what happens rahu and ketu are two nodes where the axes are cut of the moon so there is a moon attachment to it moon is what emotion man so from where this man is or your emotions are attached rahu is the desires which we carry from our past life and ketu is the attachment which we carry from the last life desires is i wanted to do something i wanted to be rich maybe maybe i wanted to travel the world or do something that is rahu from the past ketu is attachment i was very much attached with my wife maybe my girlfriend maybe my father so this attachment in relationship in per se is what we are carrying about the ketu in this life how it works i had certain desires i am burning with them that becomes rahu wherever it is placed say for an example in the first house or something like that first house is about me desires about me i want it to be famous say in the sixth house maybe desires about the job or desires of certain karma achievements i want to maybe in the seventh desires to have certain kind of relationships ketu on the other hand is attachments so attachments are what we are living currently so when in this life we are carrying karmas of last life attachment so in this life it becomes detachment point for us so if ketu for an example in the 7th house will become where you will be more detached towards relationship but giving your responsibility if it's in the first house you are more detached about yourself okay unsatisfied not even thinking about yourself that's how ketu will become here how rahu will become here say same example i gave if rahu in the first life house it becomes like mrig trishna you are running burning with it if it's in the seventh it's a burning desires so this is how ketu and rahu takes place in ketu and rahu's axis the biggest role is played by saturn saturn is the karma so karma will put you into focus to do something now if, if it's with ketu you must have heard about it it's like a sanyas yog sanyas yog means detachment so whenever saturn comes with ketu you get detached you want to move out of the world and your karmas are such it's a sanyas kind of situation wherever house whichever house you want to be towards that side if it's in the 12th house you want to be far away from everybody after a certain changes and things in your life and it's a sanyas out there at that point but if saturn is with rahu it will force you to work very hard to achieve what those desires are pulling you to 
that's an easy way to understand this is a new thing i'm just explaining today most of the you people must have not gone through this but this is what is the way to look at rahu and ketu and to understand what you are carrying what you need to do and what you need to end out here in this life so that you don't carry the same burden to the next this is how we should give the assessment this is how we should look at it also there are many remedies also involved towards it but remedies involve too many combinations because immediately when i will tell this thing biggest questions come to me tell me about remedies tell me about remedies no i will not telling about remedies today it's not about that it's about only rahu and ketu which are notes i hope i am able to clear it here.